am excited for today's guest. Yeah, Last night too. I spent probably two hours looking up his YouTube videos, and the whole time I was watching him, I was just like, I just found myself going, what? 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 How does he do that? What? <laughs> I think he's superhuman. I don't know how he does this stuff. Uh, I don't know how he comes up with this stuff. He, uh, he has uh, almost two million subscribers. He's, he's new to mountain biking. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited for Fabio Wibmer. Thank you guys. <laughs> yeah, stoked to be here. Thanks for uh, having me. How are you doing? I feel super fortunate to be able to interview you. Oh uh, yeah, it's good. Uh, first time in Canada, first time Whistler for me. So uh, yeah, I couldn't be more happier. Is Canada so. what you expected different than you expected? Pretty much. I was really surprised how friendly all the people are. Uh, it seems like we've been to Coast Gravity Park and we were riding there and then we came to Whistler. It's just, yeah, mind-blowing. Finally seeing it in real life, not just uh, in YouTube videos. So yeah. Excited. What so, was your impression of Canada before you came? I'm always super spontaneous, so I don't really think about stuff that much. It was pretty much like how it is actually. Like when you see the videos, like everyone's super stoked, everyone's super hype, and that's how it is actually. So we want to take it back. We want to take it back to when you were a kid. Because like right. I said, we were blown away by some of the things that you do in these videos. And a lot of these videos have like 10 million plus views. I think one of them has 30 million. Yeah. And every video, one after the other, is just mind blowing. Thank you. When you were a kid, when did you realize that you were an extraordinary athlete? I don't really know. I was riding motocross. I started riding motocross when I was, uh, I think, six. And uh, like, beside riding motocross, I always uh, was riding my bike, building jumps in the woods with my friends, and just yeah, having a good time on the bike. And uh, yeah, then uh, it was kind of hard because like riding motocross in Austria is super difficult. There are not many tracks, and you barely can't ride anywhere. I think it was 2009 when I saw Danny McAskill's edit, like his first proper edit, uh, which went viral. And then I just wanted to have a bike like he had and do the tricks like he had. Uh, he did. And uh, then I got a bike uh, for Christmas. And since that day, I was pretty much yeah just spending all all my free time on my bike uh, after school. I don't know, two, three hours every single day on a trials bike. And uh, yeah, so then, uh, I mean, I really, I always liked making videos. I think my first video I ever put on YouTube was uh, one where I was jumping into snow, like doing flips and stuff like that. I always loved doing flips, especially I did, I don't know, double flips on trampoline, or front flips, side flips, stuff like that. Kept on making trials biking edits. I really wanted to make it like Danny, Danny did. Um, Danny was def definitely the big role model. And uh, uh, yeah, then I got a downhill bike when I was, what was I? Probably 17 or 18, so pretty late. I always wanted to have one, but uh, we couldn't afford one, so uh, yeah. You're only 23. You got your mountain bike, your downhill bike when you're 17, so you've only been on downhill bikes for five years. Yeah, no. Yeah, it's uh, pretty crazy, but I guess, you know, my motocross background definitely helped me a lot. Yeah. What, what bike do you find yourself riding the most? I don't know, it's hard to say, but I guess it would be the trials bike. But if I would have to choose one bike for the rest of my life, it would be probably the Stump Jumper, uh, Specialized Jumper, because it's, you know, it's actually just in between all the bikes. You can pretty much do everything with it. You can ride trials with it, uh, or you can hit some big staircases, um, or just hit some big jumps, ride some trails. So that's probably, yeah, the best bike ever for me. What was your first bike? It was just a very cheap one. Just, yeah, super cheap one actually. And I always broke it. I was I was always breaking uh, my my rims, and uh, then I I think then I borrowed my mother's uh, bike, and uh, I completely broke it after I think after I don't know two days or so. So I was kind of yeah, I was definitely uh, sending it when I was uh, like uh, for sure. Get, did you get your mom a new bike? Uh, no, no, <laughs> but uh, she I mean she was she was alright with it. What do your parents think of what you do now? Oh, they love it. Like my father is supporting me like as much as he can. Uh, I mean, he always supported me also when I was riding motocross. I mean, without him, I would definitely not be where I am today. So I'm really thankful for that. Also my mother, I mean, she's definitely sometimes really scared when I do these tricks, but I try to keep it. Uh, yeah, I try to not tell her what I'm doing, just uh, show the videos afterwards. So yeah, she's sometimes pretty scared, but uh, yeah, it's all right. So I'm. It's like good that I'm not uh, getting injured that often, luckily. So we all have a collective. Yeah, knock luckily. The there for yeah. I mean, I broke my collarbone once, but yeah, that's pretty not much bad it. for the things that you do. Up yeah, yeah. I uh, got 
lucky. Yeah, we've seen some crash reels too. Oh yeah, I had some, I had some pretty gnarly crashes. So yeah, I'm stoked that I walked away from that. Well, you get back up and you just keep going. Let yeah. alone your mother having to manage her fear of what you're doing. How do you manage the fear in these stunts that you do? I try to avoid thinking about too much, like getting injured or about the bad uh, consequences of when I'm doing a trick. So I always think about the good feeling when you do something. For example, you know, when you think about the good feeling of doing a double flip on snow, it's kind of, yeah. Relatable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's like, <laughs> it's, it's just when I think about it, it's so much fun. I mean, fear is still a little bit in like somewhere in your head. But uh, I think as soon as fear like is too big in your head, it kind of gets it gets you. I don't know. It just puts you down a little bit, and uh, you're maybe a little bit um, not really 100% sure if you're gonna really send it, if you're really gonna do it. it gets really overwhelming. Yeah, exactly. So exactly. in other words, you have to respect the send. <laughs> exactly. That's it. Yeah, that's it. When was the last time that you found yourself? overwhelmed with fear you know if i've got something in my head i really want to do it and if i can like see it in my head how it goes then i yeah then i'm 100 percent sure that i can do it i mean sometimes it doesn't really work for sure but most of the time it's actually working so yeah but probably the the most challenging stunt i've ever done was maybe maybe the double flip on the downhill bike i've never i've never done a, a double flip on a downhill bike before so it was actually the first one i did two double flips on my trials bike before one um one on one on an airbag and then one to dirt and that was actually my third uh, in the snow third double flip so i was super scared of doing it but yeah i kind of like i saw it in my head how it's gonna be and yeah then i Got it first try, so that was that was cool. Are you the mastermind behind all these stunts? Like, are you like, I want to go and hang off a chairlift and ride it up backwards, or? Pretty much, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I get inspired by a lot of things, you know, maybe just watching uh, others, like skiers or snowboarders or even skaters, whatever. Really like to watch these videos and then try to to um, to put them into mountain biking. What inspires you from daily life? Music definitely gets me pumped up and definitely motivates me for doing for doing more stuff. But also seeing other other guys sending it and other guys uh, making crazy things. What are a couple songs on your playlist right now, your go-to? Ah, uh, for sure, I only ride park. <laughs> <laughs> I only ride park. I don't climb hell. <laughs> no, that's like the best song ever in me. I'm so, oh, wow. I'm, wow. Such, a, yeah, I'm such a big fan I'm of it. my socks. <laughs> yeah, yeah that that's, that's so good. Like every like time it. we're riding in the car, and we're driving the car, we are listening to it, it's such a good time. Because everyone knows the song, you know? Yeah. Like everyone sings it. So, yeah. Available. All right. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever watch the series Jackass? Oh yeah, I'm, I was actually a super big fan of Jackass. Okay, because yeah. what you're doing is kind of I was also in the cinema, <laughs> like watching uh, Jackass. And that, would you yeah. say you're inspired by stunts like that? A little bit. I mean, yeah, I, I like the stuff they did. Um, I mean, some like some of the stunts they did were definitely a little bit stupid, <laughs> for sure. Pretty much all of them. But, but yeah, I kind of like it. Yeah, I like to watch stuff like this, especially for, for example, also a Nitro Circus. I'm a big fan of Nitro Circus and they're really pushing the limits. So yeah, they're definitely so doing you, it right. You think that uh, some of the things that they did on Jackass were stupid. Now, that made, made, immediately made me think of the video where I watched you balance the railing on the side of the dam. Do you think that there's anything that you do that can be considered stupid? Uh, yeah, but it's more calculated. You know, these guys, they are just doing it. They don't really like think about what could happen. They just do it. I, th I think they're not really like thinking about what they do. They just, uh, yeah, they just send it like everything they do. So uh, I'm, I'm definitely a person who's more calculated. I'm not doing, you know, stunts which I, uh, which I can't see in my head or where I think, okay, this might work or might not work. So if I'm not sure, I'm not gonna do it. So. Can you sip up? Oh, yeah. uh -huh. Enjoy it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Have a sip and uh, tell us what you okay. taste. Okay. <laughs> um, I taste the taste of sending it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah. yeah. That's a good this taste. A can of full sand. <laughs> yeah. If you could make a Fabio Wibmer starter kit, what would you put into it? Fabio Wibmer starter kit. Okay. Uh, so probably some some good shoes, specialized shoes. And uh, then some good, for sure, some good protection. Cause that's that's probably a part why I'm not getting injured that often. Because I really, I'm really wearing protection all the time, especially when I'm riding on the big bike. Black gear, like to have a black gear, 
like nice and clean. Maybe a speaker for music. Definitely. Maybe a camera to make the YouTube videos. Probably a camera. For sure, yeah. I think there's a computer in there. Yeah, computer as well, yeah, for sure. Yeah, good computer actually. So uh, that you don't have any problems while rendering it, rendering it, uh, the videos. Speaking of that which, sucks. you edit all of your videos. Yeah, yeah, most of them. Yeah, pretty much all of them. How do you find the time? I know it's hard, it's tough. It's actually really tough, it's, especially when you do weekly videos. It sucks sometimes. Uh, so I kind of like, I try to find someone who's got my videos, but it's, it's actually really hard to find someone that can, you know, can like put your vision into like reality and make it like you want to have it so uh, yeah so is, is this is this a public call for an editor <laughs> uh, are you maybe. asking the internet for an editor yeah can please someone edit my videos <laughs> what are some projects you're proud of you have a lot i, can I have a lot yeah i have a lot but probably the last one in snow that was definitely that was definitely the biggest project i've ever done we we're there for we were filming for 25 days and it took us, wow. I don't know, like the whole process took about, I guess like four or five months. It was, it was actually crazy. And I was scared so many times. So that was probably the biggest video I've ever done. Yeah. And the one which I'm most proud of. <laughs> when I saw a 10 minute video, I was, I was thinking, wow, this is, this is going to be long. What's, what's going to happen? Is it going to be some sort of story? But no, it was just you sending it <laughs> over and over and over again. It didn't stop. Yeah, there's like, there no time to breathe and be like, what? <laughs> Yeah, the problem was that I had so many ideas that I wanted to do yeah. and then I ended up having so much content and uh, it was actually way longer in the beginning so I really tried to like really really cut it down um, but yeah I mean I don't know I think as long as it's entertaining it doesn't really matter how long it is so yeah who would win in a game of bike you or Danny McCaskill <laughs> oh uh, yeah I mean that like there were so many people asking about making a video together with him or a game of bike with him. But uh, I don't know, I mean it depends on which we will play. Like if we would maybe play it on, uh, on, on, a, on an enduro bike, on a trail bike, I would have maybe some chances of, of, uh, yeah, of, of, of doing well. <laughs> but uh, I mean if we would do it on a downhill bike, I'm pretty sure I would, do it. I would get it. But uh, yeah, on the trials bike, he's, he's such a beast still. Like he's, uh, he's way older than me, but still like, so good on a bike it's really impressive it's also riding a lot at the time so yeah how is it uh being you know you're inspired by him and now you're a teammate with him and you go on the tour with him and how is that yeah it's still crazy like danny's such a nice man he's probably the coolest rider out there of all of them so i'm still i'm, I'm actually still a big fan of him and riding together with him and doing shows together with him is just uh, amazing and definitely like a dream for sure it's uh yeah definitely living the dream so uh, he's doing a great job also with his drop and roll tour and with the guys we're riding with, with Ali and Duncan Shaw. So yeah, it's good. It's good to be surrounded by such good riders. What goes through your mind when you're up on the railing at the dam before you drop in? Like, or you don't even drop in. You, I don't even know how you start on that thing. I watched that video and I'm getting sick. I get sick to my stomach. It's, a, it's stressing me out just laying in the comfort of my bed. Yeah, it was, it was actually scary. Like, uh, like the hardest part was definitely getting up there. Because it was kind of like a, what's it called, like a sign. But people, I don't know, there were some details of the dam. Yeah, the and sign jumped... says, do not ride your bike on the road. Uh, yeah, yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, that, yeah, I was pretty much just jumping on the sign and then from the sign onto the rail. That was kind of the hardest part and especially also riding. It was kind of, I think it was like 250 meters long. Uh, or 300 meters so uh, that was really hard to stay focused and because it, there was also a little bit of wind coming from the side and it was actually super cold as well uh, actually icy so there was feel. snow there was snow like we were there a week before and then a guy came up to us and said that we can't do it that we can't ride the bike here because we you know we didn't really uh, you say why not <laughs> yeah we didn't really have a permission to do it um, so we uh, yeah after the week uh, or after the weekend, uh, I I pretty much just texted a guy from the dam, like who's responsible for all the dam stuff, and I was asking if I can ride my bike there and just uh, yeah you know just take some photos stuff like that. So pretty chilled, but he didn't really knew uh, he didn't really know what I was going to do. So yeah, he said yeah he's fine with that. So we came a week later. It's actually the last the last tryout of I think seven or eight tries. Before my, my GoPro battery died, 
just had one battery, one GoPro battery. So, so yeah, I was uh, definitely lucky. What trick took, took you the most amount of time to land, most amount of tries? Probably a front flip on my trials bike, which I did, I think, like four years ago. That was actually one of my first bigger videos, what, what I did, it was called Australia is my playground. Um, uh, that was on a trials bike and was doing like a front flip step down, uh, like in front of a castle, super nice view. Uh, it was it was super tough. I crashed I think on the first go and then I kind of like injured my neck. Uh, yeah, it's it still hurts from that crash. Still, yeah. And then I came back there I think like two months uh, after the crash, and I did it over and over again. And I think I crashed like ten times. Like had super hard crashes, like really hard impacts. So um, and then I landed I think after after all these tries, and that was probably yeah one of the coolest one of the coolest things. For sure. How do you describe a feeling? How do you describe that feeling when you land something after so many tries? It's hard to describe. Is I don't know. It's just so addictive. If you if you like felt it once, it's just like you really get addicted to it, and you wanna get the feeling over and over again. It feels like you're the king of the world, pretty much. Just uh, yeah, overwhelming, and I don't know. It's such a good feeling. Yeah, just like positive vibes are everywhere. So. When was the last time you had a feeling like that off the bike? Off the bike. Um. I'm pretty much just riding bikes. <laughs> yeah, I like to do some some double flips down cliffs. That's pretty cool as well, and that gives me a good feeling too. But uh, I mean, the feeling on the bike, uh, I don't really get it. Like, uh, yeah, when I'm when I'm off the bike. So, yeah. We have a question from our Instagram fans. This is an important question. It's super important. How does Fabio like his eggs? What like his eggs? Yeah, yeah. How do you cook them? Oh, uh, I cook them. Until they are done. <laughs> yeah, that's how I do it. That's how we do it in Austria. The fans ask the questions that matter. Yeah. yeah. For sure. Exactly. Yeah. Would you like to play a game? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm up for it. Fortunately for us, the game doesn't involve going upside down in the air on a bike. Yeah. So all we have to do is remain seated. Right. <laughs> We're going to play a quick game here of fill in the blanks. Filling the blanks. We got 30 seconds on the clock. I'm going to say the beginning of an expression and you finish it off. Three, two, one, go. Shred the... Trails. Hard. Sick. Uh, serious. Ride or... Die. No dig, no. Ride. Ferta. Uh, next. Drop two. Drop two? Drop two. Sending that drop two. I'm gonna send that. Yo, yo, Fabio, I'm gonna send that drop two. I don't get it. Pass. Go. Oh, send or B. Send your B. Send or B. Send or be not cool. <laughs> Samurai pizza. Sorry? Samurai pizza. Oh uh, shit. Samurai pizza. Cat. It's a cat. It's my first time Samurai, here. It's a cat. How did you not it's know it? Samurai pizza cat. Well uh, done. Well sorry, done. Sorry. How many? How many did I get? I, I don't know. We'll have to. Uh, the editor will figure yes. that out. Yes. Yeah. All right, Fabio. Our wheel is a little bit blown out from the sun here. Um, maybe you just put Let's on see. your helmet. You're pretty good with that GoPro, I guess, and uh, might Holy. have a better light on there. We have one open red slice of doom for you to put whatever you like. Whatever I like. Whatever you like. Do you like you want again? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right, good for you? Yeah. That's good, man. Give Sounds her a spin. good. Nice. All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. You're going to have to teach us, though, if you land on B1. I hope you're a good teacher. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Cut. Cut. Oh, God. You send it too hard. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure to go fast. <laughs> Show me the awesome power. Of course he sent it too hard. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Uh, Fabio, please. Go. Okay. We know you send, but maybe just go a half send on the wheel. Okay, okay yeah. half send on the wheel. <sighs> there we go. Still intact. Oh, God. All right, here we go. Come on. Oh, oh no. Man, it's still oh. going. Oh. It's still going. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it's still going. It's still going. It's still going. It's still going. Oh. Earth circus. Okay. We're going oh, to the side. Dodge the bullet. Anxious. So close. Minute of my life. So close. <laughs> Uh, All right, I guess we're going to go ride berms. Yeah. On Creekside. Yeah, in Creekside. Cool. Nice. Want to go for a ride? Yeah, let's go. Uh, okay. yeah. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> how are you going to warm up? How does, how does Fabio warm up? A little bit like that. 
<laughs> uh, wake up. Dude, good job. <laughs> ah, uh. Ready to drop in? Yeah. Uh, uh. We have to have at least one hungover person on every season, so thank you for being that man. First time on Earth Circus. Here we go. Good job, everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 uh.